A two run double from Chase Moyer was the start of an eventual Tiger comeback last time out, now facing 18 and two banger. Moyer would then get the start on the mound for Northwestern in the semi, striking out two in the bottom of the first. Top of the second, the Tigers would secure the early lead with one on from a walk. Aiden Freeman singles into right. That one nothing lead wouldn't last long though, as the Slaters answer in the bottom half. Dylan Keith sends a bouncing grounder straight through the middle to even things up. Northwestern would run into some trouble in the bottom of the third when a slew of errors gives the Slaters the lead. First, an RBI single from MJ Sue gives Banger the advantage before the Tigers' fourth error of the game gives the Slaters a 3-1 to one lead. The Tigers weren't the only ones struggling. In the bottom half, Banger commits a couple themselves and they'd pay for it as Josh Farber crosses home. Austin Eisenhard then sends a sack fly out to score Moyer and the Tigers even things up again at three. In the top of the fifth, the Tigers would emphatically take back the lead with three runs. The first, a deep solo shot nearly out into the street off the bat of Josh Lichman. He gets the cowboy hat celebration at home and his team wasn't done yet. Farber gets his second run of the afternoon, racing home to lead 5-3 to three before another scores off an error, and it's a 6-3 ball game. The Slaters do get one back in the bottom half when Hunter Rydell finds contact down the middle. It's 6-4 to four now as we head into the bottom of the seventh. Last chance for Banger, and boy, do they make good on the moment. Bases loaded, no outs. It's Greg Campbell at the plate. He sees four pitches before sending it down the third place line. It's bobbled, so one run scores, and Sue gets the green light to round third. Banger with a walk-off win. The Slaters get the victory over Northwestern Lehigh with a final of 7-6. to six. We knew coming into the game today that they were going to be playing us a lot tougher than they did the first time around. Um, they're a very well-coached team, and if you look at their stats from over the last the last couple games of the season, they've been improving every time they're out on the field. So, you know, it, it was a good thing that they kind of put a little pressure on us that we were able to kind of, you know, answer the call to, to an extent. But um, I know that our guys were excited. Unfortunately, you know, five errors isn't exactly a good thing, and we have to build on that if we want to win championship. It takes a team and the Banger Slaters proving that this afternoon. Campbell with the late heroics in the bottom of the seventh to punch the Slaters ticket back to the Colonial League final for the first time since 2016. It took all of us, every single person in that dugout knew that we had to fight and win. And if we did that, we all thought it was good, going to be a good outcome. So I think that was the biggest thing It's just everyone was on board and ready. Well, I told the first two people, Kurt and Brandon Pusher, I was like, we need base runners, and that's how it started. They both got on base, and I knew that me, Greg, Hunter, we, we were going to get the job done. These guys are playing good baseball, and as long as they continue to stick it out to the end of games, I think we can go a long way.